Okay, let us now study what's meant by mutual induction. When an electric current passing through a coil changes with time, an EMF is induced in the neighboring coil. This phenomenon is known as mutual induction, and the EMF induced is called as mutually induced EMF. Okay, let us see what does it mean. So now we have two coils here, coil one and coil two. Okay, you see when an electric current passes through the first coil, so we have a current here going this way. Okay, it changes with time. So the EMF alternates. Okay, changes with time. What happens is uh, they say an EMF induced in second coil. Okay, so this is second coil, and in the second coil, there's EMF is induced. Okay, so we study the Faraday's experiments now, same thing only. Okay, this phenomenon is known as mutual, in, mutual induction, and there will be an EMF here. Okay, that EMF we say is mutually induced EMF. Okay, so let's see this thing. See, coil 1 has N1 turns, coil 2 has N2 turns. Okay, so we pass current here, what happens? The magnetic field will increase, it will hit the second coil. Okay, the flux. Magnetic flux will be 5 to 1. The magnetic flux on 2 because of 1. Okay. And the EMF induced will be E2 or the epsilon 2. Okay. Same way in this case, we just do the opposite one. Okay. Suppose you send current here from right to left, that is I2 is sent here. Okay. What happens is an EMF is induced in this first coil, that will be E1. Okay. And the flux linkage will be flux will be 5 1 2. Magnetic flux on 1 due to 2. So it can happen both the directions also. Okay. So this is called as mutual induction. Let us now see an expression for the mutual induction. I'll erase this part here now. Now let us take the first picture and then we will do the derivation. Okay. So the first picture, let's see what will be the flux linkage now. Okay, let me write this side. So what is the flux linkage? So in the first flux linkage, you can see this one. Okay, this is a magnetic flux. Okay, and the number of turns is n two. So n two into five to one will come. Okay, so we have here n two into five to one. Okay, is directly proportional to the current i one here. Okay, current i one. So remove the proportion sign, put equal to sign, and the constant. So we get here n two five to one is equal to which induction m. Okay m21 into i1 okay so this equation we get here m21 we get okay that is this one mutual reduction between 2 and 1 okay this we take this equation number 1 here okay we'll see why it is little later then you bring this i down here okay so we get here n2521 is equal to m21 okay this side will get here i i1 okay rearrange so we get here m21 is equal to n2 into 5 to 1 by i1 okay so this is the equation let me pause it so now let's see here if i1 becomes 1 ampere okay i1 is 1 ampere let's see if i1 is equal to 1 ampere then what happens here you can see this m21 is equal to n2 into 5 to so m21 will be equal to n2 into 5 to 1 this time we get. So now let us write this definition for this mutual induction. Now I'll write this side. So let us see the definition now. Okay, for mutual inductance in this case. So mutual inductance M21 is defined as a flux linkage with the coil 2 when 1 ampere of current flows through coil 1. Okay, so in coil 1, if this is 1 ampere, then the flux, uh, uh, the flux linkage that is M251. Okay, will be the mutual inductance they say. Okay, n2 into 5 to 1 will be equal to m21. That's the definition here. So mutual inductance m21 is defined as a flux linkage with the coil 2 when 1 ampere of current flows through coil 1. So this is thing here. Okay, 1 ampere, this we get 1 ampere. Then you will get here mutual inductance m21 is equal to this uh, magnetic flux linkage here. Okay, so now what I do is I write this equation 1 okay, on this side and go for the next part here. So let us go to the Next part in this derivation here. So from Faraday's law, okay, from Faraday's law, okay, so we have here E is equal to we learned that minus of d by dt of n phi. We learned now. Okay, this we learned. Okay, but in this case we must see what is E two here. Okay, so write as E two here in this case, and then here the number of turns in the second one will be n two. Okay. And the flux linkage will be 5 to 1. 
okay this is how we get here now what happens is uh, we can see that from equation one okay so this was the equation one okay so from equation one we can substitute here okay so using equation one so what happens is e2 is equal to minus of d by dt of this m21 into i1 okay so this term we get here now what happens is this uh, mutual returns that is m21 we can is a constant we can take it out so it's a minus of m21 into d by dt of i1 okay or di1 by dt we can say that's equal to e2 now our aim is that we must find what is m2 okay m21 so you write the minus on this side so minus of e2 is equal to and this term is now you bring it down okay so we get here di by dt is equal to m21 okay so rearrange and write here so we get here m21 is equal to minus of e2 by di by dt okay so now let's see what happens now okay if uh, in this case di by dt is equal to 1 ampere per second okay so the current changes by 1 ampere in 1 second then what happens is m21 is equal to minus of e2 you see that this becomes 1 means this will become m21 is equal to minus of e2 okay now let us see the definition in this case here what will be m21 okay so this is another formula for mutual returns okay let me write the definition here Now let us see the same expression in words now. Okay. So mutual inductance M21 is defined as the opposing EMF induced in the coil 2 when the rate of change of current through coil 1 is 1 ampere per second. Okay. So in this case you see okay, if you have di by et becomes 1, okay, then you have m21 is equal to minus e2. That's what we say here. Mutual inductance m21 okay, is defined as the opposing EMF induced in the coil 2. When the rate of change of current in the coil is 1 ampere per second. So that is this one the same. Okay, here. First picture only you see. So when you change the current by 1 ampere per second, then you will get here the, the current will be or the EMF will be E2. Okay. Or epsilon 2. That will be equal to the mutual entrance M21. Okay, let's see. So now let me erase all these parts here and we'll go for the next part. So let us see the next part here. Similarly, if an electric current I2 through coil 2 changes with time, then EMF E1 is induced in the coil 1. So that is here in the second picture. So I2 is coming here, then what happens? EMF E1 is produced in the coil 1. Okay. At that time, the mutual attendance is given by M21 is equal to N1 into 512 by I2 and M12 is equal to minus E1 by DI2 by DT. Okay. Same that Now you can see it can be shown that okay, M21 is equal to M. 1 2 that's equal to capital M that's mutual inductance okay so mutual inductance is common same only so next you see how much how it depends mutual induction depends on size shape the number of turns of the coils okay their relative orientation that means whether coils are kept like this way or whether the second coil is turned like this way at 9 degrees okay permeability of the medium that is how the medium allows the magnetic field to pass through so these are the factors mutual inductance depends on thank you for watching